Welcome scientists, it's Gisa. And my buddy Corona is here again to join us in a story called A Germ's Journey. And remember, if you haven't already listened to our germs versus soap and our coronavirus lesson, uh, be sure to watch those on our YouTube channel. A Germ's Journey, written by Tham Rook and illustrated by Tony Trimmer. This is Rudy. Rudy feels rotten. He has a cold. Colds are caused by tiny creatures called germs. And right now, millions of germs are living inside Rudy's nose. Many types of germs can make you sick. Examples include bacteria, mold, fungi, and viruses. Colds are usually caused by viruses called rhinoviruses. And right now, friends, the reason why we are all home and being extra careful is because the coronavirus is going around and it is highly, highly, highly contagious more contagious than the regular cold that we get every year. The cold germs inside Rudy's nose are multiplying. They're running out of room and need a new home. Another nice warm nose would be perfect. Pardon me. Crowded, isn't it? Let's blow out of this place. The germs tickle Rudy's nose and trigger a... What's going to happen? In real life, the germs are very small and they cannot be seen with a mic without a microscope. <gasps> Sneeze! Rudy forgot to use a tissue. His cold germs fly across the room at more than 100 miles an hour. I can fly! Best ride ever! Whee! A few germs land on Ernie, but skin acts like a suit of armor. It protects against harm. The germs won't find a new home there. Healthy skin keeps germs out, but germs can sneak into the body through cuts, scrapes, or cracks in the skin. Most germs enter through a person's mouth or nose, which is why, friends, we are wearing our masks. And the proper way to wear your mask is over your mouth and your nose. Rudy's germs continue to fall on everything in the room, including Brenda's candy. Brenda can't see the germs and she's hungry. Are the germs going to make her sick? What do you guys think? I think we found a new place to party. Not today. Brenda peels off the wrapper and throws it away. The germs wind up in the trash, not in her mouth. Was it something we said? Germs that land on floors, desks, or tissues usually dry up quickly and die. But some germs can live on objects for several days. Eve is going to give an apple to her teacher. Apples are supposed to be healthy snacks, but this one might make Eve's teacher sick. An apple a day keeps the germies away. Wait, Eve's teacher washes her apple before she eats it. The germs roll off and swirl down the drain. Soap kills germs. So do hand sanitizers and antiseptics, such as rubbing alcohol. Hand washing is the best way to keep the germs from spreading. Some of Rudy's germs land on the classroom computer. When Chip touches the keyboard, the germs stick to his fingers. Type G-E-R-M. You're going to get a C-O-L-D. S-I-C-K spells sick. Chip didn't wash his hands after using the computer. He touches the doorknob, the pencil sharpener, his homework. He even touches the globe. Now France is contaminated with germs. Ooh la la. Yikes. Here comes Jared. He types at the keyboard Chip just used. The germs are on the move again. There are 400 more 
germs on desktops and computer keyboards than there are on most toilet seats. Jared rubs his eyes. That's bad. Hmm, this place might work. He bites his fingernails. That's worse. Love the high ceilings. And now he picks his nose. Home sweet home. Rudy's cold germs are now inside Jared's nose. They multiply quickly. Ugh, turn up the music. Hey, hey, party! Did anyone bring chips? Soon the millions of germs will run out of room. They will spread to Jared's throats and lungs and Jared will have a terrible cold. Have you guys ever had a cold where your throat is scratchy and sore and you're coughing and sneezing? Sometimes you might have a headache. You've got a bad cold. That's what's happening here. Jared doesn't feel really sick yet, but he can still spread germs, especially if he doesn't cover his mouth. Cough. Jared's germs fly through the bus. They land on Connor's backpack and Skye's lunchbox. They land on empty seats and the bus driver's head. Britley yawns and the germs fly into her mouth. Yuck. I love to travel. Cough. Hello, goodbye, must fly. The germs find new homes miles from school and they don't stop there. They travel to dance class, piano lessons, and baseball games. They travel to restaurants and birthday parties, even to the movies. Tonight, Jared finds out if he is leaving this weekend to visit his grandmother in Ohio. The germs that started with Rudy are off on a brand new adventure. There is no cure for a common cold. Cold germs will disappear on their own, usually in a week or two. Germ journey diagram. So as you can see, Rudy can sneeze and it gets onto the candy, gets onto the apple, gets onto the keyboard. And then from there, you can see the kids who touch the keyboard and then go on to touch other things or pick their noses. And so it spreads to other kids on the bus. It spreads to other kids in the class. Whereas the apple was washed. And so that's where the germs end, right at the sink and the candy wrapper was taken off and thrown in the garbage. Now, I have a little bit of an issue with the way they describe the candy wrapper because if there are germs in the candy wrapper and you peel off that candy wrapper and you throw it in the garbage, yes, most of the germs are on that candy wrapper now in the garbage, but some of those germs have gotten onto your hands if you've gone ahead to eat the candy. If you throw the whole thing in the garbage and then wash your hands, then you're okay. But if you peel open the candy wrapper, now it's on your hands and now you're touching the candy and putting it into your mouth, it has now gotten into your mouth. So you have to be careful with that or you could have washed the candy wrapper, right? And then opened it up and peeled it, thrown out the wrapper and eaten the candy and that would have been okay. So the point of the story is Remember to always wash your hands uh, before you stick your hands in your nose, your mouth, your eyes. Remember to wash your hands before you eat. And if somebody sneezes or coughs or sticks their hand in their nose or mouth and then touches something of yours or touches something you're about to touch like a doorknob or a computer, make sure that you wash your hands and you wash off that surface or you have an adult help you wash off that surface. Stay safe and healthy, and remember to support our channel by liking and subscribing. We'll see you next time.